It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, El Diablo. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist but on one side you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 to player and you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is he knows where the fight needs to be he knows what he has to do in order to be successful let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him all right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Body now 
now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. That's a big strike right there. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Checks that leg kick. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Big head kick lands. How many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscious? One, normally, <laughs> this guy has a great chance, but if he takes any more, he's gonna be sleeping. Nice work by the man here against the fence, continuing to stay busy and continuing to land. Continuing to land, and continuing to impose his will on his opponent. Left hand punch to the cliff. Nice punch lands over the top. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Switch knee lands to the body. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> and they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. A nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Great roll. He misses. And he's got him right here. He is all about that left kick to the body. Good stick. It's such a fast leg kick. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, collar tie. And that one certainly found the target. A timely defense there, huge block for him. Throws the right hand there. Big kick lands. Kick to the body by Lee. Outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lands the right hand. Oh, spinning back He didn't telegraph that one at all. Clinch. Oh, nice short elbows here. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You're winning this fight. You have to stay ahead now. Let's get back out there and keep doing what we're doing. the punch. Just lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Huge elbow there. He's no! Huge right hand! Work 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you've got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Lee's pass attempt denied. And they both stand up. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Big kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he has really picked up the pace here. And oh! He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh, nice high kick. Nice kick landed there by Lee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocked by the defense. That punch, no good. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Beautiful head kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. Got it done with the strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it's a significant strike. Oh! Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Big kick land. And they separate. Beautiful leg kick throw. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely, of kicks. Kick, 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 huh. kick. Until you stop it, he's going to continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. Just missed with the left there. Clean with the right hook. Oh, beautifully placed with the hook there by Lee. And they separate. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Ten seconds remain in round two. And they separate. Big power shot there. Can't take any of those. You better check. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going.
almost ready. Ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Let's get going. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. And that one was heavy. Big knee to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big leg kick land. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Nice punch lands over the top. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Just misses with the right hook. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the jet one up here to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Wow! He was hurt. Turn him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, he's hurt. He's gone. Oh! Woo! Woo! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's gonna enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution, and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 42 seconds in the third round. Playing the winner by knockout, El Diablo! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.